Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add wireless charging to a phone which comes without inbuilt wireless charging. So for example, the Sony Xperia XZ Premium does not come with inbuilt wireless charging. So we will use this wireless charging receiver pad and add wireless charging to this phone. Let's see how it goes. And you can do this with any phone. Uh, all you need to do is select the correct type of wireless charging receiver. And this is from a brand called Nilkin. USB Type-C. I bought the USB Type-C version because this phone has a USB Type-C on its bottom and you'll need two things. So first off you will need a base charging station, the wireless charging station. Now this is from a brand called Nilkin. This is the Magic Disk 4 but in case you have the Samsung Samsung wireless charger it will also work. So the second thing you'll need to buy is this magic tags and all of these links are down in the video description you can go ahead and purchase them from aliexpress anyways this is the magic tags wireless charging receiver and um, these are available for about eight to nine dollars and this comes in several interfaces so this is the usb type c it comes in micro usb and lightning for apple iphones so the way this works is you stick the charging pad on the back of your phone and plug in the uh, USB cable which is my, which can be micro USB or it can be USB type C and then when you place your phone on the wireless charging pad it will charge and by the way the maximum output of this thing is 5 volt 1 amp so it does not support quick charge and the only phone that supports quick charge wirelessly is the Samsung Galaxy S9, S8 and the S7 so let's go ahead and unbox this and see how it is like on the inside well, let me go ahead and uh, pull this out. Oops. All right, so this is the wireless charger receiver and uh, you can see it's quite thin. And this thing will have a coil inside. So there is a coil inside the base station that generates an electromagnetic field. And this one picks it up and, gen and converts it into electricity. And this camera does not want to focus. Alright, so we have a cable that is coming out of the charging pad and uh, this is the USB Type-C. It's available in micro USB and lightning cable. And the way this thing goes onto your phone is you stick this thing and so this is an adhesive. You peel this off and stick it onto your phone like this. And the uh, lightning or the micro USB, in this case the USB Type-C cable, goes into your phone like this. And whenever you will place this on a wireless charger the phone will charge so uh, have to get it aligned properly so there you go the phone is now charging and whenever and when I pick this thing up it will stop charging and uh, I really don't want to stick this thing on my phone because I really adore the uh, glass pack of the Xperia so what I'll do is I'll try and put this thing inside this case and see if it works or not. And in case you want to remove the charging pad, all you need to do is pull this thing out very gently and it comes out. Alright guys, I've got the wireless charging receiver inside the case and all plugged in. And it really doesn't matter about the USB Type-C because I already use Wi-Fi file transfer. So I, I really don't care if this port is always covered up or not. So let's go ahead and test this thing so let me just unlock the phone and we'll place it on the wireless charger oh there you go it is charging i hope you guys can see it there you go guys sony xperia xz premium is charging wirelessly all right so i think it peaks in about 820 milliamps and uh, if I put the screen to sleep, it should charge a little bit faster. So let's do a charging speed test and see how long it takes to put 10% charge in the phone. And uh, we are at 20%. We will charge this phone up to 30% and see how long it takes. You can see the charging receiver is inside over here in the case. So let's go ahead and start the charging. And uh, there you go. It has started charging. Start the stopwatch, put the phone screen to sleep and just wait. So it has been 10 minutes since the phone has been charging. Let's check the battery percentage. So we are at 25%, so half percent per minute. 
Hmm. It's quite slow, but you do get the convenience of wireless charging. All right, it has been 20 minutes. Let's check our charge level. So wake the phone up. And we are at 30% in 20 minutes. Hmm, not bad. It's not the fastest, but yeah, you do get the convenience of wireless charging with this little contraption on the back of your phone. And it looks like this liquid glitter is not affecting the charging at all. So I'm guessing this glitter is not metallic, it is plastic. Oh, and by the way, it does get slightly warm from over here where the charging pad is located. And this is the exact same characteristics that we saw on the Galaxy S9 Plus. So yeah, I'm guessing the charging pad itself gets warm. So guys, thank you for watching this video and do stay tuned for more videos like these. And if you like the content, please press the like button. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section down below. And I will be more than happy to answer you guys. So thanks for watching and do stay tuned for more videos like these. And I'll see you guys next time.